Sunday service is over. Let your weekly service begin. This week, we continued our series, Fresh Fruit, looking at the fruits of the Spirit in Galatians 5, 22, and 23. And we talked about six observations from the story of Ruth to kind of give us a better idea of what kindness looks like or what kindness is. And the application I wanted to make very clear this week is not necessarily to go and do acts of kindness. Well, we should do that. We should be kind. We should be nice. We should do nice things. Um, that's not the direct application of this message because basically like every message in this series, every everything with the fruit of the spirit, we don't get fruit. We don't produce fruit by simply performing actions and performing acts. We actually get that by recognizing what Jesus has given to us and responding from that and that leads to the fruit, that leads to kindness, that leads to love, that leads to joy. And so my encouragement to you this week, my, my application for you is to get more of Jesus in your heart because that will lead to more fruit in your life. And I want you to do that by meditating on, reflecting on Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 through 10. Maybe you can read it uh, every day this week. Maybe you read it multiple times in a day. Maybe you can get a journal and write out your thoughts as you're, as you're reading that and spending time and reflecting on that. But I want you to, to spend time in that passage, Ephesians 2, verses 1 through 10, and see what God has done for us. And really reflect on that and really let that uh, come into your heart because it's from that that we can then respond with the fruit of the Spirit. And so that's my, my application for you today. That's to live it out this week. I want you to go ahead and do that because the best way to produce fruit is to have a good tree. And to have a good tree means more of Jesus, right? So do that this week. And remember, love God, love others, serve generously, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.